The minority in parliament has meanwhile condemned what it says is inhuman treatment meted out to travelers who were found hiding in cargo trucks yesterday for breaching the imposed restrictions. Ranking member on parliament's communications committee, ABA Fusini, says the individuals are homeless people who had nowhere to go and should have been screened and allowed to travel from Accra to Kumasi. Yesterday, what happened at Ejusu in the Ashanti region, where dozens of uh, young people on their way, like I said, to the northern, northeast, and savannah regions in particular, were all stopped, forcibly taken out of their vehicles, and forcibly brought back to Accra and dumped in Accra. And the emphasis of the word is dumped. They just brought them, dumped them. All of us can recall that one of the fundamental reasons why a lot of them were leaving Accra for their destinations, their hometowns, was because in Accra here, a lot of them are not properly settled. They don't have residential areas on their own where they can go and habitate. And as all of you know, colleagues, you go in the night and some of them, you see them sleeping rough. And so in the event of this uh, 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 shutdown of the uh, capital, which was one of the uh, uh, few areas that were involved in government's latest action on this COVID-19 matter. They had nowhere else to sleep. And so before it took effect, a number of them uh, 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 were in the process of moving.